Hi friends! I hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to read a story called Little Puppy Lost. And what is this called again? Yes, that's right. It's called the title. And what do we notice about the puppy's face in this picture? How do we think he's feeling? I'll give you some min minutes of think time. The puppy, I think the puppy is feeling sad, and maybe lonely, and maybe worried, and maybe also scared. So let's read to find out why the puppy is feeling this way. And our author today is Linda Jennings. And our author is the person who, yes, that's right, writes the story. And our illustrator is Allison Edinson, and she is the one who creates the pictures. Little Puppy Lost. Ollie peeped out of the barn door. Something cold and wet plopped on his nose. What's all this white stuff, Mom? He squeaked. Can we eat it? It's snow, Ollie, his mom laughed. It falls like rain in winter, and no, you shouldn't eat it. Can we play in it, then? He asked. Please, Mom, cried Sheba and Sam. Of course you can, said Mom, but don't go too far. Sam and Sheba skidded and slid across the icy farmyard. Wait for me, yelped Ollie, racing after them. When the puppies reached the field, they stopped and stared. There was snow everywhere. Let's play, cried Ollie. The puppies chased and dug and rolled under the flying snowflakes until suddenly... What do we think might happen? Well, let's read to find out. Here we go. A strange face loomed up in front of them, a face with a huge mouth, huge eyes, and a huge bark. Woo! It says, for a moment, the puppies froze with fear. Run! Sheba cried. The puppies rushed off through the flurrying snowflakes. Ollie's paws scrabbled and skidded as he ran and ran until at last the dog's barks faded and everything was quiet and still. But where were Sheba and Sam? Where were the farmyard and the barn? Uh-oh. Oh, no, whimpered Ollie. I'm lost. Oh, he's lost. Too wit, too woo. Who are you? Hooted a voice high above him. Ollie looked up. Two big round eyes stared down. Ooh, so high up in the tree is an owl. I'm Ollie, and I've lost my family, and I don't know my way home. Ollie squeaked. Perhaps you should follow your footprints, suggested the owl. They'll lead you home again, but hurry, or they'll be covered in snow. Thank you so much, said Ollie. I'll do that. Oh, he's using his manners. He said, thank you. Tail wagging, he set off, but by the time he had reached the middle of the field, the footprints were disappearing under fresh snow. Soon Ollie couldn't see them at all. He trudged on and on as the snow grew deeper. I must keep going, he panted. I must get back to my nice warm basket and supper. There he is, trudging along. Trudge, trudge is, a, is a big word. What do we think it means?
trudge means to take big steps. At last, Ali reached the edge of the woods. Were these wo the woods by his farm? If they were, then he was nearly home. The snow had stopped falling, and evening sunlight shone through the trees. Crunch! Crunch! Ali crept through the icy leaves. But then, all at once, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think might happen? Let's read to find out. Swoosh! Ali sl slipped down an icy slope, tumbling over and over. Thump! From the shadow of the bushes, three fox cubs stared out at him. Look what the snow's blown in, said one. What a scruff, said another. This is our home, said the third. Clear off. But I don't know which way to go, cried Ali. Sadly, he walked away. He would have to find his own way home. Oh, so the fox are going to help Ali find his way home. Ali reached the edge of the woods, but still he couldn't see the farm. He tried to cheer himself up. He'd have so much to tell Sam and Sheba when he reached home. But the snow was falling once more, thicker and faster. As he struggled on, Ali began to, th to think he would never see his family again. Aw, poor Ali. Do you think he's going to find his family? Hmm. Aw, Ali's. Let's find out what Ali's under. Cold, hungry, and very, very tired, Ali crawled under a bush. A mouse scurried past his feet and disappeared into a small hole. I wish I could find somewhere safe and warm to sleep, too, Ali sighed. But as he closed his eyes, he heard something. <gasps> what could it be? Ali, Ali, where are you? Ali peeped out from the bush. It was Mom! We've been looking for you for hours, cried Mom. Where have you been? I've had an adventure, said Ollie. But I'm so glad it's over now. So am I, said Mom, gently licking his freezing ears. Home at last, Ollie curled up with his brother and sister in their cozy bed. The puppies wanted to know all about Ollie's snowy adventure. Tell us more about the owl, cried Sheba, and the nasty fox cub, squeaked Sam. But warm and snug, his tummy full of dinner, Ollie had fallen fast asleep. <laughs> all right, friends, thank you for watching the um, book today and listening and please click the boom learning link below and complete the activity. Bye friends!